Now then, and welcome to another video. So I thought I'd do a bit of a bit of a random hobby update. So this is kind of all the stuff I've I've been working on in January. Um, I got my spider done first. Uh, that's the first thing I painted this year. I got this for Christmas from my wife. Um, I'll have to get it painted up pretty quick because it's an awesome model. I've uh, been looking forward to doing it. So got him done, but there was a lot of spare bits. So the first thing I did was I built the Eamon. Um, so there's him. Got him done. Uh, pretty cool little model. Just built, built his base up with some uh, slate from the garden and stuff like that. And what I did, I, if I can get it off without breaking it, we can't but it's a circular base in there so i can use him for um saga age of magic and stuff i just pop him out of there but if i want to use him for frost frost grave not frost grave oath mark i can put him on the square base um yeah i think he looks all right you can't really see that joint too much I well you can but it'll be real on it it'll be all right yes yeah, so that's him i enjoyed painting that one it's cool and then there was a web spinning uh, web catapult uh, the part of the kit so what I did was I used the plastic part which is that um, <clears throat> and I built a sort of ground mounted static catapult out of sticks from the garden uh, and thread I just tied the thread around it to hold it all together a couple of spiders and things from the kit uh, this kind of contraption on the back it was part of the howder so if you build the spider with this on it, this part here, but attached to the back of the spider here. Um, but yeah, so I just ground mounted it, uh, built it up like that. And what I did was I got some um, shield wolf goblins. Uh, so you've got this guy here uh, and this guy here, both shield wolf. That's Games Workshop head that I stuck on that one. Uh, and what I tried to represent is a bit of a squabble going on between the crew. Um, and this one here set his pet spider on that one. Um, and it's kind of sacking him there. Hopefully that's in focus, you can see that. So the spider's jumped on him. Yeah, so he's pulled his knife out and he said, yeah, whatever, and set a spider on him. So this piece is kind of called, don't bring a knife to a spider fight. And then you've got the, the goblin on the back who's actually doing some work. And aware of these two fighting at the bottom, he's just going to drop that ammunition down. It's a big ball of web. Um, yeah, another big spider on the back there. So yeah, I think it turned out all right. And then because I really uh, love Paul Bonner's artwork from the early Warhammer books and stuff, and there was one picture and there's a load of goblins and they had blue spiders on the shields. So I painted a little blue spider on that skull there, some giant skull or something. Yeah, and I'll use this for oath mark. The base size is um, 50 by 100, uh, so it works for both map. That's that done. And the next thing I did was I rebased and kind of repaired my old Tom Meyer zombie dragon. Um, this is more of a display piece than anything. I'm not sure what I'll use it for. I've based him up so I can use him in oath mark. So again, it's a 50 by 100 mil base, um, a Renedra one. Um, I built his base up with M old MDF bases um, to build up the height and then I hid it all with milliput and then stuck slate in it and things and then just covered it in like my normal basing method really. I think I used quite a lot of herbs on this one. Um, sticks from the garden again, just stuck in there. Just make sure they're fully dried out then I've given them a good couple of coats of varnish just to seal it all in. Um, yeah. So that's my old zombie dragon. I actually got this model in 1988, I think. One of the very first models I actually got. Um, and I painted them up years ago. If I can remember how to do it, I will put up a, a picture somewhere of what he did look like before on his old base. Uh, but I thought I'd update him a little bit. I think he's turned out alright. It's a really nice model still, considering its age. Um, yeah, so there we are. The zombie dragon. Cool. Bit of Warhammer history, I suppose. Very old. That one. It's quite heavy as well. Uh, and then the next thing I did was a kill team of Emperor's Children, which I'll show you in a second. 
So these guys um, got these off my son for Christmas, um, and they're the old Mark IV uh, armored marines for the Horus Heresy. Uh, and what we decided to do is do a bit of a kill team campaign, but using Horus Heresy era kind of miniatures. So I've gone for the traitors, the Emperor's children, uh, and he's going to do Dark Angels. He started painting them already. I'll give you a quick, real quick preview of one of them that he's done. Just quickly. So that's one of his Dark Angels there. It's not finished yet, but um, he's doing quite a good job. It just needs to lean down with some uh, matte varnish and stuff. Some transfers and things putting on, but it's coming along nicely. Pretty cool. Um, so that's one of his Dark Angels. But onto the Empress Children then that I've done. Um, this is the squad leader. Um, I hand painted the chapter symbol there. It's quite fiddly to do. I didn't want to pay like 20 odd quid for a transfer sheet from Forge World, so you know, I just had to persevere and paint that on. Um, this power fist is one from the bits, uh, lightning claw, sorry, is one from the bits box. Um, you do get one in the kit, but I wanted to use this one because it's got the Imperial Eagle on it. It's a bit more Emperor's Children, yeah, I thought. Um, and he's got a combi Nota, which is cool. Yeah, that's the sergeant. That's kill team leader. Do I have names for them? I can't remember. The commander's called Caseron. Sergeant Caseron. Or Caseron. I did the uh, random name generator. Emperor's Children from, I think it's the Wraith and Fury book. Um, anyway, so the first of the specialists then is my Moritat. So this guy uh, is an assault sergeant and his name is Lycon. Sergeant Lycon. The Moritats are like uh, solitary warriors who uh, um, just like to kill stuff. They generally work by themselves and uh, cause havoc. So he's kind of a champion. Um, again, hand painted um, chapter symbol there. Um, quite like how his um, power sword turned out. Um, he's got a plasma pistol there. And then, if you notice at the top of his banner, um, it's kind of like a lodge symbol. Um, if you know anything about the heresy and stuff, they had like the lodges. And um, unbeknownst to them, it's a symbol of Slanish. But it was their little lodge symbol. Didn't quite know what it was, but it's a important of things to come for the chapter or the legion um, yeah that's my attack assault sergeant like on and um, next one we've got is the sniper and this is brother Mori uh, Yorios um, and it, I gave him a sniper rifle from the scout kit that I had to spare a little bit of conversion a little bit of chopping of arms and things but I managed to get it on there um, again chapter symbol yeah, I think he turned out alright. Something a little bit different. Sniper rifle. They're not very good in kill team, I don't think. But it's just cool, isn't it? I thought it was cool anyway. So there he is. Uh, cool. This is a sniper. Uh, the next one is the comm specialist. Where is he? There he is. And this is... Uh, Blathastalis. Um, I gave him a big double-headed eagle there on his arm. Um, again, the chapter symbol there. I gave him a combat knife, um, and his comms unit is built out of um, it's a normal backpack on there, and then there's bits from a venerable dreadnought, I believe, um, some primaris weapon parts, um, just chopped down, uh, pouches. There's that bit of tube in there is off a hellblaster volley gun. Yeah, for my scions, and um, that's quite hard to focus a little bit there, wasn't it? So there you go. And the actual antennas themselves are made out of guitar string. So yeah, he turned out alright. Um, I enjoy painting this guy. Com specialist, there we are. That's him. Uh, and then what we have is the what is it? The missile launcher. This is Brother Capersi. He's a support marine. Again, chapter symbol there. I gave to put a little three for the third legion on that shoulder pad. But I do like these old school missile launchers, they're pretty cool. Yeah, so there he is. Bit of a fire support. Um, and then we've got the melt gun. Where is it? There it is. This is Brother Dalian. 
and we've got milk in there. I've tried to put little uh, gold details on some of them on the knee pads and stuff. I think maybe as I go through the campaign, if they do, if they do well, I'll add more little gold embellishments here and there on her armor. Um, but again, I've gone, I've gone for that kind of uh, attempted to do that burnt effect, that heat effect on the front of the melter. Um, I think it kind of turned out okay. Yeah, so that's him. And then we've got the four. Um, normal marine. So you got this guy, and this guy, this guy, and this guy. Uh, they've all got names as well, but I'm not going to bore you anymore with it. Uh, yes, there's one. I went for like a turquoise colour for their eye lenses and their little gun sight things, little gem sights or laser sights. That one. This guy. Put a leech on on there. Um, the longest thing to do on these was the was, was the free hand for the symbols and things. Uh, and trying to get them all the same as well. It's quite difficult. Worth persevering though. Better than spending 20 quid on a transfer sheet, for sure. And there's the last one. I think this is my test model actually. This one is slightly darker than all the rest. Only slightly though, but it'll be okay. Um, yeah, so there we are. That's, that's my Empress Children guillotine and focus. There we go. Um, yeah, happy with how they turned out. I've actually got um, a cataphracty terminator as well that I could maybe add into it, but I'll see how I get on with the little campaign. So that's kind of all. Anyway, that's all. I've been doing this month pretty much um, you may have seen my video on my Napoleonic so I've finished basing all those up and what I've also done is finished off basing up and painting the remainder of my um, Muslim forces for Soldiers of God which will be in the next video um, I've got a house full at the minute so I can't really set it up downstairs without being interrupted every two seconds so I thought I'd just do a bit of a, a rambly update so, what am I working on now then? Well, the first thing I'm going to be working on um, in February is this unit of English Civil War Cuirassiers. Now, I believe these are old minifigs from years ago. Um, I've just converted one of them there to all the standard pole. I actually snapped his arm off uh, and then I tried to put it back on. I tried to drill a hole in it, it all just crumbled, really old figures, these are quite brittle. Um, so I had to scratch, built an arm, scratch build an arm there out of milliput. It's not great, I'm not a sculptor, but once it's painted I think I'll get away with it. Uh, but yeah, so these are them. Once they're painted up I think they'll look quite cool. Nice heavily armoured um, cavalry unit for my Royalist army. Uh, if you have a look through my back catalogue there's a showcase of my Royalist army for the English Civil War somewhere. From about a year or so ago so i'm gonna get them done they won't take me long i don't think i'm gonna use contrast paint i think on horses everyone keeps saying that painting horses with contrast paint uh, works really well uh, and i've got a couple of different shades of brown here that i'm gonna try out so i've got gorgon a fur there i'll try that out uh, i've got a bit of skeleton horde that might be a bit too light and snake bite leather i'll try those three out see how i get on with them um if it doesn't work, I can just paint over it, can't I? It's not a drama. Um, so yeah, English Civil War Cavalry. And then I'm going to show you now what my main focus and my main project for this year is going to be. Okay then, so I've got this box here. Now I've had these figures for nearly a year now. Um, wanted them for ages, and then I got them, all excited, and I was just burnt out painting ancient. So, what I've got anyway is the beginnings of my late Roman army. Uh, I'm going to use exclusively foot saw miniatures, I think, because they're brilliant. Uh, I just think they're really good figures. So what I'll do, I'll get some of these out, and we'll have a look at what, what I've got so far. Okay, so what I've got so far then is enough figures for one unit um, of late Roman legionaries. 
Um, these are probably going to be my veteran unit because the rest of them I'm going to make them look a lot more ragtag than these. But what I've got then, starting with the command pack, we've got this guy. And to show you how good these figures are really. Um, if you've never seen foot saw miniatures before, um, I can highly recommend them. Uh, so this is one of the commanders or heroes from the command pack. Yeah, there's a bit of clean up there, there's a bit of flashing, mold lines and whatnot. But once you clean that off, it's quite easy to get off. There's just such good figures. That's him. Uh, here's the Draco Bearer. Again, quite a lot of clean up. Wow, there is a lot of clean up on that guy, isn't there? Wow, look at that. Yeah. But I mean, it comes off easy enough. It's not a drama. Uh, and he has his uh, Draco like dragon windsock type standard so we'll have his pole there and it'll be up here like that um, another commander model again really cool there's a lot of flash on these ones it's not quite normally as much as that um, maybe the, the, the molds are starting to get a bit old I don't know uh, musician there with his trumpet and then Onto legionaries themselves. I've got one pack here with um, they just got chain mail on, fully armoured guys. Uh, and he'll have a spear and a shield. Uh, and then the other pack are pretty much the same, all different poses, but the other pack have got cloaks on, so I'll just mix them in and give them that more kind of um, frontier look, you know, campaigning on Hadrian's Wall kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so really cool. I won't show you them all. Um, and then I've got a pack of archers. Now these are just going to be skirmishing archers. The bow itself is separate. So you've got the body there. And you've got four different bodies. Um, and this guy here, where is he with a hat? Got a hat on. It's pretty cool. And the cloak. I do like them. And then the bows are just... Um, got the hand on it and it's separate. Like that. There's a bit of clean up to be done on these, to be fair. But they're alright, they're pretty cool. So that's all of them, and then I've got all the shields in here, and these are the big late Roman shields. I do need to get some transfers from Little Big Man to make them uh, really pop on the table, I think. Play the tabletop. Yeah, that's those. And then the special figure I got was um, Guinevere. There's obviously King Arthur's wife there. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use if I thought about just mixing her into a unit. But what I could do is I could put her on a command base. I use her as a commander. Maybe for the infantry kind of centre of the army, she could be the commander. Get a couple more command figures to go with her. Uh, and then King Arthur can lead a cavalry charge on a flank somewhere. Something like that. Yeah. Well, a cool figure though. You could use her as, um, is it, um, what's her name in um, Lord of the Rings? The... The Rohan Princess, or yeah, I can't remember the bloody name now, but yeah, could use her as Eowyn. Eowyn, Eowyn, yeah, that's it. Could use her as her in the Lord of the Rings if you wanted to, but yeah, what a cool figure that one is. Um, yeah, so that is the big, humble, very humble beginnings of what is going to be my late Roman slash sub Roman Britain army for Duxblorum to start with but then as the army expands I'll be able to use it for to the strongest as well which will be cool um, no doubt during the year there'll be distractions along the way uh, I've been toying with the idea of get the, getting the Stalingrad box set for uh, bolt action but obviously use it for chain of command uh, so much prefer that to bolt action but that Stalingrad box set you get loads of stuff in there it's quite pricey isn't it so Anyway, I'm just going to start rambling now, so I'll, I'll call it here. Um, hope all your hobbies are going well. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, stay safe, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye-bye.